Are you thinking of buying or installing a Mr. Cool heating and air system in your home? We're gonna do a quick overview, some things I think you should be aware of before you make that purchase. Let me first start out by saying that I previously made a video similar to this one where I pointed out some concerns about Mr. Cool. And in that video, I actually called their customer support line and I spoke to a lady who at first told me that their products are made in the USA but then moments later said their products are made in China. After that video was posted, some of the executives or employees of Mr. Cool reached out to me and we've had multiple conversations and ultimately I determined that the lady was just misinformed and decided to take that video down. However, I feel like as a consumer, as a heating and air professional in this trade, I should be able to have the freedom of speech to do a video on my opinion. That's what this video will be. It's my opinions on Mr. Cool. And that's what this video is. It's basically my opinion of Mr. Cool and some of their products. The whole reason I ever started doing a video on Mr. Cool was because one of you guys sent me a message and said, hey, can you do a video on Mr. Cool? What are your thoughts? And so that's how this whole thing began. This video is an overview of my opinion and my opinion alone. So let's get off of all of that. And let me first start out by saying that I'm gonna keep an open mind as I go through Mr. Cool and their products themselves. During the making of this video, they have expanded. They're offering more products than they ever have before. I believe when they first started out, and again, this is my opinion. I don't know if this is 100% true fact, but I think when they first started out, they were really only offering a few products, mostly being ductless mini splits, one-to-one -one wall hung type mini splits. And they still offer that. And we're going to talk about that in just a second because they offer this as a DIY option, a do-it-yourself option that a homeowner, if they wanted to install their own heating and air system, they could purchase that from Mr. Cool and install it themselves. In fact, I would probably even go so far as to say they are probably one of the most well-known brands for that here in the US. They even have a product that they call their DIY product. So full disclaimer on my end, as a heating and air professional, do I think what we do is super hard? I, no, I actually don't think it is. In fact, if you know what you're doing, I don't think it's hard at all. However, if you don't know what you're doing, I would usually, just as any other heating and air professional would, discourage you from doing some of the DIY stuff, do-it-yourself sort of stuff. And the reason is, if you don't know what you're doing, there could be safety issues aside from the fact that you could possibly ruin a product if you don't know what you're doing and you don't follow the instructions and you install it improperly. But one of the things that I'm always concerned about is something as simple as replacing a capacitor. That's something that we see folks do themselves from time to time. But as time goes on now, we're starting to see things like DC voltage in addition to AC voltage in a heating and air system. And if you don't know what you're doing, you actually could you know, possibly get hurt I've even heard horror stories where capacitors hold charge. There have been people that have lost their lives trying to fix a microwave because they didn't know what they were doing and they didn't know that a capacitor could hold charge. But I'll get off of all of that. Let me first start out by playing a little devil's advocate. Let me say that as far as the products go, they obviously can't be but so bad. If you've got folks that aren't necessarily licensed professionals being able to buy and install that product, they can't be but so bad, right? But aside from all of that, I do have a few concerns. The first one is who makes Mr. Cool products? Do they make them themselves? And I have to say, after interacting with some of their guys and talking to them a little bit, I'm still not quite sure I even know the answer to that question. Here's what I can tell you though. Some of the information on the internet is incorrect. So for example, if you go to Google right now, so if you just Google it, now again, this is not on Mr. Cool's website, but if you just Google who is Mr. Cool made by. The first thing that pops up is what company makes Mr. Cool air conditioners? All Mr. Cool products, including mini splits, air conditioners, heat pumps, furnaces are designed, created, and manufactured by Mr. Cool, proudly an American company. Mr. Cool plans, designs, and ships from Kentucky, USA, where both headquarters and warehouses are located. So I would say the first thing is, does Mr. Cool manufacture 
their own products? And the answer to that question, I have to say, is I don't know the answer to that. I haven't gotten a straight answer from their execs on that. I've had few conversations with them. Here's what I think, and again, this is my opinion. I'm not saying it's 100% fact, but what it appears to me from the outside looking in, and this is not uncommon, there are a lot of heating and air brands that do this sort of thing, but basically they are licensing the name. So they're taking a product and they're putting a different brand or sticker on that product being manufactured by maybe someone that they've sourced to do that manufacturing or making of that product for them. We see that a lot with brands that will partner with one another. We've seen Train and Mitsubishi do that on some things. We've seen Fujitsu and Rheem do that on a few products that are sold here in America. And we've even seen companies like Carrier take a whole separate product, a product made by Medea or Toshiba, and put their sticker on that. So again, that's not uncommon, but I think it's important for you to know that because a lot of times if you are under the impression as I think some people are based on reading some of their reviews or people that are fiercely loyal, as one thing I will say as I go through some of this stuff, Mr. Cool and a lot of other heating and air brands have this as well, but Mr. Cool has some people that are fiercely loyal to their brand for one reason or another. You will see people come to their defense. Even people might even comment on this video defending them. And I think that's fine. I think it's interesting how people will be fiercely loyal, but maybe not have all the information, right? So I have seen where people have said in some of their comments, I even pointed it out on a video that we did a while back. I did a live video where we just simply read some of the reviews on Mr. Cool where someone had said, well, I like it because it's an American made product. And I'm not saying that some of their products aren't made in America. I think that some of them are based on some of the conversations I've had with them, but not all of them are. And in fact, I think it's safe to say that some of the products that this particular guy was talking about, he was saying, I like this product because it's American made and I am almost 99% certain that the product he was referring to is not made in America. But I'll get off of that because again, I don't wanna say anything that's inaccurate. Should that make a big difference in your decision making? No, I don't think that one thing should make a huge difference only because a lot of many splits especially are still made overseas, imported into America, and I wouldn't lose sleep about that anyway. But let's move on. The next thing I'd like to point out is I've actually pointed this out to some of their executives that I've had conversations with. And that is when you do have people that are misinformed and they're saying things like, hey, the products are made in America. My question to him was, is that a concern to you, especially if people are misinformed? Is there anything on your website that would fix that? And in his defense, I will say that a lot of other brands are kind of beat around the bush with that, if you will. They're not exactly open 100% with where their products are made or assembled. But in contrast, if you are considering Mr. Cool, just a simple Google search. Again, this is not on their website. I wanna be clear about that. But if I'm a consumer, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go Google it. I'm gonna go see if I can find out if I care where a product is made. And so I Googled, first of all, where is Mr. Cool made? And the first thing that pops up is Kentucky, USA in big bold letters on Google. This is off of a website called premiumhomesource.com. It says all Mr. Cool products including many splits, air conditioners, heat pumps, and furnaces are designed, created, and manufactured by Mr. Cool, proudly an American company. Mr. Cool plans, designs, and ships from Kentucky, USA, where both the headquarters and warehouse are located. That, if nothing else, does not answer the question, right? So I Googled, where is Mr. Cool made? And as you continue to read through it, again, a lot of that verbiage may not be necessarily incorrect, but it's not forthright, if you will. And because of that, again, I'm not saying... That's one of the things that they seem to take offense to. And that is not me saying that they are being misleading about that. What I'm saying is there is misinformation on the internet, especially when you Google that, where is Mr. Cool made? And the very first thing that pops up in big bold letters is Kentucky, USA. The next thing I'll just point out is if you just go so far as to Google, is Mr. Cool made in China? It brings up that exact same answer. So it doesn't say yes or no. Google itself brings up that same website and it says all Mr. Cool products, 
blah, blah, blah. Same verbiage from that same website. So do I think that Mr. Cool is being misleading in any way with that? I don't think necessarily that they're being misleading, but are they doing anything about that to change the perception as far as that goes? The answer in my opinion is no, but that's okay. Again, they're not the only company out there that does that. Now let's move on to our next concern. And that is if you were to go to their website, go to mrcool.com. If you were to find one of their, what they call DIY products, and it even says as you go to there, right there in big bold letters, do it yourself. So they're saying this is a product that we can sell to a homeowner and they can do it themselves. If you scroll to the bottom there, there is a disclaimer. It says, notice Mr. Cool products must be installed in accordance with all applicable local, state, and federal codes with regulations unless explicitly stated otherwise. Installation must be completed by a licensed certified HVAC technician. All electrical connections to a power Power source must be performed by a licensed electrician and comply with local, state, and federal electrical codes and regulations. So here's my thing with that. Bottom line is obviously they've put that disclaimer there to kind of cover themselves. My concern with that is, is if you are a homeowner that installs this product, you thought it was a do-it-yourself, you've gone so far as to install it yourself, are there any repercussions to installing it yourself and something going wrong, especially with this disclaimer here, does this kind of give them a pass to maybe not honor their warranties, okay? I'm not saying it does. I would just say that if I'm considering it for my home, that does concern me. And the other thing I'll say with that is, if it says that, if it says it should be completed by an HVAC technician that's licensed and certified, then you might wanna do that, right? Even if you think you know how to do it, you might wanna follow their disclaimer to protect you, yourself the homeowner and of course the electrical connections performed by a licensed electrician so again I'm not saying that they're pulling anything over on you I think they've done this to cover themselves and I would say you as the homeowner should cover yourself with that as well next we just touched on it is the warranties and if you go across their products the warranties do seem to vary but I'm still focusing on this DIY product because that kind of seems like the thing they're most famous for and I would say that the warranty itself is pretty minimal in comparison to a lot of other options out there. The particular page that I'm on is their fourth generation E-Star DIY and the warranty reads as it has a limited lifetime and seven year replacement on the compressor and a five year parts warranty. So in comparison, we've seen a lot of other brands with options that are double that time, if not more. And so if we're talking about the parts warranty itself alone, uh, that's pretty minimal. I know that they have other products out there now that have 10 year warranties and so on, but I just wanted you to be aware of that right there. So during the making of this video, that's what I'm reading on their website. Next, where do you get parts for Mr. Cool? Right now, I don't have a good supplier. So if you were in my particular market, I would say in a lot of cities across uh, the US, there is a chance that you live in an area that there's not a necessarily a good supplier. For example, I can't just pick up the phone right now and call any of my local suppliers and get a part for those products. Now, I do have a few other avenues that I can go to, but I would say that that is something you should be aware of. And I'm guessing that you would have to call Mr. Cool themselves if you did need a part, if you don't have a local supplier. So they may have that stuff figured out, but it kind of gets back to that whole disclaimer thing. Are they gonna ask you, are you a pro? Maybe they're gonna ask you, how do you know that there's an issue with your system or what the problem is? And if you're not a licensed pro, how do you really know that you're diagnosing it properly, right? Even if you cross your T's and dot your I's and you've got a pro in there and they find out, let's say a control board is bad, you're not gonna be able to go to your local supply house and pick that part up. At bare minimum, you're gonna have to have it shipped to you from them, I guess. So just something to be aware of. And another thing I would say is if you are looking at their product line, you probably are wanting to kind of check reviews that's something that we had to look around for. And one place we found it, and I did a video on it, that live video was, we actually went to their blog and then went down to the comments and saw some of the feedback that other folks were giving them. But the other place that I've found that you can probably go get some feedback is if you go to Facebook and find some of those Mr. Cool groups or just search for that brand, you could probably find posts and things like that where people have posted good and bad things. I don't think that all the reviews are bad, but they haven't all been good either that I've found. And then finally, if you're considering Mr. Cool and their products, 
Let's talk about price. The prices do seem pretty good in comparison to a lot of other options out there. But I would say that if you're comparing them to a lot of the premium heating and air brands out there that are gonna have local parts to them, yeah, they might be cheaper in price, but then if you compare them to some of the other brands that consider themselves as a DIY brand or at least offer themselves to homeowners to be able to buy them online, then maybe they're not always the cheapest brand. So I would definitely consider that as I'm looking around, checking out prices and going to a local pro when considering that. I can tell you that a lot of heating and air professionals, if they find out that a homeowner has installed something themselves, they don't know what they're gonna get into and a lot of them might even avoid working on that system if they know that it was not properly installed by a pro. Sometimes you can be getting yourself into quite a pickle just from going Going behind somebody that didn't know what they were doing. So let's wrap all this up and let me say this. Is Mr. Cool a good choice for you? If you're a homeowner in the market for a new heating and air system, is Mr. Cool a good choice for you? My answer to that would be similar to the same answer I give a lot of folks when they're asking me questions like, What's the best heating and air brand? Who's good and who's not? And the first thing I usually tell folks is you're asking the wrong question. Brands don't matter as much as the installation in a lot of cases. And I would focus more on finding a good local contractor, a good local pro that gives you the warm fuzzies, that treats you the way you should be treated. And once you find that contractor, I would end up going with the brand that they recommend, the one that they will stand behind, the one that they believe in because of their experiences. And my question when it comes to Mr. Cool, overall, my question would be, do you have any local pros to you that sell them? And the answer may be yes, I don't know. But when you look at the best heating and air contractors in your area, the ones that have the best reputation, the ones that seem to be taking care of folks and things you've heard good things about in your community, are they installing this brand or that brand? And if the answer is no, maybe there's a reason for that. Ultimately, comment down below if you have a Mr. Cool system. I'd love to hear your experience, good or bad, or if you're considering them for your home and you wanna comment down below and let me know your thoughts and what you're considering there. I'd love to hear that. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.